and welcome to Sports This Morning. I'm Cecilia Omogbe. I am Tyra Salam. Many thanks for joining us again. All right, we start up with this one. Liverpool, for the first time in three months, they are back at the top of the league table. Yeah, now, top, the top four. four. Like, why are you trying to dash <laughs> Liverpool top of the league? Really? Liverpool back in the top <laughs> four in the driving seat in terms of qualification for the UEFA Champions League. <laughs> Also, on the show, this time around, we're still talking. Uh, this time, let's talk basketball, where uh, Rivers Hoopers will be in action in their second game. That's at the Basketball Africa League. They'll be taking on Monaster USN. That's a massive, massive test for the Nigerian representatives. A tough one, indeed, this evening. All right, also on the program, you have to talk about the NBA where LeBron James will see three rims yeah that's what he said yeah. but, but then he scored a clutch Funny three guy. pointer with less than a minute to go to book the los angeles lakers place in the nba playoffs in 103 100 win over the golden state warriors yes so uh, that's Great. how the lakers clinched uh, the seventh seed in the western <laughs> conference for the 2020 2021 yeah. nba Post season seventh seed, and of course, incredible. Who, who, who would have ever thought Phoenix Suns is next? Oh, goodness gracious, that's such a <laughs> tough matchup uh, for the Lakers. Uh, but it is what it is, they're gonna have to find a way to navigate uh, the very, very hot. Hot sun. Sense. I think they can actually cool them down. We'll I know see about that. once you have the the like once you have AD and LeBron combining yeah, yeah. and playing so well, no injury. Um, we'll be tough, CP3 Cecilia. and the likes to just yeah. cool. No, nah, we'll see, we'll see <laughs> Cecilia. I don't get too carried away. The, yeah. the songs are a very mm -hmm. good side, uh, as they've shown all seasons. Yeah. So uh, it's definitely a very tough match. Let's see if they can carry that into the playoffs. We'll all right, see. two games are decided. That's talking about the play in tournament, the mm. tournament before the playoffs. I'm kind of liking it. I like Maybe it. Maybe we should just continue like that. So no. There's no break for basketball. I like it. <laughs> <Because on laughs> Confirmation of the results. The, the Spurs mm -hmm. and the Grizzlies. Yeah. Uh, Memphis prevailing 100. Tonight is 6. <laughs> Dylan Brooks. 8 of his 24 points coming yeah. in the fourth uh, quarter. And that's how the Spurs have been eliminated mm -hmm. uh, from playoff contention. Yes. Uh, for the Grizzlies, uh, they've got one more chance. Uh, mm -hmm. They'll take on the Golden State the Warriors. Warriors. That's Friday. because the Warriors lost against the Lakers. And um, the Lakers, uh, by virtue of that victory, are now in the postseason, in the playoffs proper. Uh, thanks to LeBron James. Mm -hmm. uh, Cecilia, what a clutch <laughs> shot. Celebration. And uh, you mentioned seeing three rings. <laughs> yeah, that's so what I'll that's try to take you through what happened. Um, okay. Got a hard foul to the face off from Draymond Green. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently affected his vision and yeah. was starting seeing three <laughs> rings. <laughs> and he just decided to aim for the okay. middle one. Uh, and he entered. And just the just the reaction from those on the bench. Incredible <laughs> stuff. Uh, LeBron James once again coming up clutch uh, for the LA Lakers. Uh, yeah. uh, that particular shot ended up being yeah, uh, the winner a, because, because uh, they were tied yeah. 100 apiece going into that possession. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to get on with the show now, Cecilia. Let's come back uh, home and talk about uh, like a fallout. Uh, from the National Sports Festival. Yeah, more like it. You know, we talked about the fact that during the Sports Festival, we became top to most of the young stars, you know, yeah. how they're able to progress uh, and everything. And remember Stephanie, the 10-year-old girl from Anambra, the won gymnast, four right? gymnasts, won uh, four gold medals. Mm. Four medals, one of them gold in, uh, uh, in the rhythmic gymnastics. And at the end of the day, you know, she told me at that time that she was going to go on a training tour. And right now, she's ready to go for that particular training tour because usually athletes just talk about what they want to do, but then you have to do a follow-up to know that if they are really doing what they needed to do. But then for her, in June, right, it's going to be next from, um, yeah, in August, she's going to be going to uh, the Tox Gymnastic University Pretoria mm. for a training tour. That's in July. That's, that's in, in July. July. Yeah, so three that's weeks. One of the tours. That's one of the tours she will be going for. And of course, then the Boston uh, Boston Rhythmic Competition in the USA. That's, that's in August. August. Okay. Yeah, August twentieth uh, to thirty first. So she will be going for these uh, particular competitions. Of course, you know that when you're when you're going for competitions like this. Obviously, it needs money. I remember, uh, you know, at that time when the commissioner, the essay to the governor on sport, talking about they're going to pick her up, you know, sponsorship yeah, and everything. This but is the, this, this is the <laughs> time to put your money where, where your mouth is. is. This yeah. is time to just stop talking and act. Uh, Austin, I mean, what do you think? This is obviously a great 
our talent, 10 year old, winning four medals at the National Sports Festival. You know the story, and you guys know um, how I get pumped up when we talk about the grassroots. Yeah. One major, major fundamental is that like you must keep with the grassroots progression. When the mm. talent does so well, that talent must progress. And it must let And remember, we made this charge, we made this plea that talent from the National Sports Festival, we shouldn't start hearing funny tales about them, you know. It's rather unfortunate. And I said it on the show at the time that Stephanie's biggest problem would be, you know, attending competition and the ministry assisting to sustain our momentum. Mm -hmm. And I remember her mom was, was reading out events that she needed to, yeah. you know, attend. Go to. Guys, look. I've said it over and over again. We must have a direction with sports in Nigeria. And that's where the sports policy comes in. Yeah. You know, when you discover talent, you don't just leave them. You nurture. You see them through so that they can become future champions, you know. And as it is at this stage where it's very delicate, 10-year-old Stephanie will start asking mommy every day, are we still going? Am I still traveling? Will I still mm. compete? It's not even good for, you know, the well-being of, you know, making a champ. So, um, we just hope that things will change, that the, the ministry will sit back and say to themselves, how can we create a, an environment that would discover, nurture, and see talents through, you know, because... This is gymnastics that we don't get to talk about all the time. And yeah. it's a sport where you need to start early, gather a lot of experience to become what you want. That's why China go to the go to the Olympics and <laughs> get all the medals in there because you see them as early as four, five. Yeah. They are already, you know, yeah. producing fantastic gymnasts. So I don't know. I just hope that something, you know, comes come, comes through for, for for Stephanie and then she yeah. gets to compete at this competition and, and we need to oh, Guys, I know you know it's this is just yeah. working up. Yeah, I know. I know it also, is. Sorry it's, about that. Also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Cecilia, I mean, we still got um June. Mm -hmm. the, the 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 first competition is in July. Yeah, right? it's so in July, in South Africa. The other one in the US in August. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So there's the, about a month uh, in between to you know to make all of these things work out uh, for this. Uh, uh, for Steph, uh, so she can continue to progress. Yeah. Uh, like Austin said, it's super necessary. It is uh, that you don't stall uh, very, Her very progress. Long career. Yeah, yeah, it's important. And if you check where the, you know the get where the competition we're watching, actually the aerobics gymnastic where she won gold medal. It's mm -hmm. not even her field because she's into redeeming gymnastics. So it shows how talented she is. So she's once you have a, a girl like this, you just have to support her the best that we can. All right. After the short break, we'll be talking about yeah the. MOC and AFN invitation and talking about a track and field where athletes can try to uh, qualify for the Olympics. We have Inyo Bong Monday. He's here in the studio. Ini, yeah. it's been a while. Good morning. Yeah, good, good morning. <laughs> um, good morning, Tired. Good morning, Cecilia. Great to be here. Mm. In your bunk Monday on a Thursday. On a Thursday, right? <laughs> so, it doesn't matter where, as long as you show up, right? It doesn't, doesn't matter which day. Which day I'm mean, tired, come on. <laughs> anyway, let's talk a track and field athletes. I mean, inaugural edition, there's going to be an invitation in Lagos for those athletes who couldn't travel to the U.S. Mm. to take part in the different meets that is currently going on in the U.S. preparations for the Olympics. Those that are also trying to seek qualification. So, athletes especially from Nigeria and making of champions, they've mm. decided to have this invitation up for the athletes and of course 312 athletes will be competing mm. you know across 16 track and field events just a one-day meet is going to be happening on saturday yabatek precisely and other countries like ghana senegal Cote d'Ivoire, gabon sierra leone uganda will also be taking part in this particular invitational what do you think is this something really good interesting especially with the olympics coming and athletes having opportunity to uh, compete that's it it's a, <laughs> another event uh, for yeah. The guys that have not qualified to try and you know uh, make uh, the standards, and uh, we have a couple of big names. Uh, mm -hmm. Nigerian angle, of course, uh, Shea Oglewe. Yeah, has been to the Olympics. Is expected to feature uh, in this com in this uh, one day event. There's also Mike Edwards mm -hmm. as well. Uh, so those um, those attractions uh, should be uh, good enough uh, for you know track and field fans uh, to show up uh, at the uh, Yabateka. Yeah, um, uh, another opportunity stadium. like like you said, um, it's always a great opportunity to to be out there doing your thing. And mm -hmm. it's, um, the, the important thing is that you're keeping in shape. The athletes mm -hmm. get an opportunity to stay in shape and ensure that they, they, are, they are still 
fighting for a, a chance to be at the Olympics. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't get bigger than the Olympics, yeah. and this is a massive opportunity for them to to try and see if they can um, sneak in through the back door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also the under the World Under-20 Championships is also coming up too. So athletes can also use the opportunity to also uh, qualify. Especially, is... especially in, a, uh, in, a, in a year where, um, you know, there's been few know, decimated uh, by mm -hmm. COVID, uh, lack of competitions because mm -hmm. of COVID pretty much. And now that the world is starting to open up a bit now, uh, kudos to uh, AFN. Uh, MOC in particular, yeah. uh, they were very, very... I know they were actually uh, instrumental in this. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and they've been very, very uh, uh, intentional and deliberate about giving opportunities uh, for uh, track and field uh, athletes, uh, you know, this year. And it uh, uh, should be an exciting uh, event on Saturday and uh, we will be there to... Uh, to see fans allowed? We can yeah. Are fans allowed? Are fans allowed? Yes, fans allowed. But it will be of course, the uh, protocols. streamlined, strategized in a way that you don't have so many people coming okay. in. Mm. Uh, so of course, gonna, the protocols. Of the course, protocols, yeah, you have to. Strictly. Because uh, I'm, I'm very certain that <laughs> I'm, I'm very certain that because of the pandemic and, yeah. and, and the fact that um, a lot of sporting activities are, are closed, uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure that sports fans are looking for any opportunity <laughs> to be <laughs> Get out in there. a sports ground and just see what's happening. Yeah, yeah. That, I think so too. All right, uh, before we leave this, uh, Austin, quickly, just your thoughts on, on this uh, MOC AFN Grand Prix coming up on Saturday at Yabate, where you're going to be having uh, 312 athletes competing, and of course, uh, all the athletes from across Africa also coming to Nigeria to compete. It's awesome, but on a, on a lighter note, which yeah. of the AFN? <laughs> Austin, please. That is no right. has been dissolved. Okay? That's a very it's really no notes, Austin. So, guys, like that's a, so, so that's a, that's that's what I'm talking about. This is a this is a fantastic initiative. Shout out to uh, making of champions. You know they've done everything that they said they, they want to do for athletics in Nigeria, mm. and they really deserve some kudos. You know, yeah. I think I'm going to have this beautiful you know and, mm -hmm. and it goes even beyond qualifying for the olympics it's it's a good place for athletes to you know uh take a look at their progress and see ways that they can improve the guys that we don't know so much get a chance to compete with the big names the athletes like shayo going out there you know mike edwards you know and some other athletes you know it gives an opportunity to upcoming athletes to go out there and say they can compete and then of course the media will talk about it and it's also a good place for you to see upsets you know and i love upsets so <laughs> shout out to <laughs> the MFB and the airfare i don't care which of the airfares just give athletes an opportunity to compete and that's beautiful beautiful that's indeed. what we care about competing Politics, none of our business. Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah, ugly. Real, it's it's not so exciting. ugly, it's not exciting uh, it's not at fun. all. And it's not fun. You know, yeah. I mean, you have adults fighting over what? You'd be like, what, <laughs> what's going on? Selfish interest or what? Right, okay. So yeah, it takes a lot of energy to talk about those things. Yeah, let's, let's go right. on with the show mm -hmm. now. And um, quickly before we go to football, and uh, let's talk about the Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury uh, situation. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, any, um, you know, the news now? Um, Wilder has got to fight Fury for mm. a third time. That's the that's the rule uh, from the arbitrator. And and the fallout has been quite interesting. <laughs> AJ is obviously very disappointed. A lot of fans very disappointed as well, so that we won't get to see uh, the unification bout between Fury and Joshua. Twenty twenty two is still there. We still wait. Yeah, but we're supposed to see it in August. No, you're not seeing it. Don't worry. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that's no longer the case now. They want it's, to see it's trilogy. Been, it's been a back and forth, and it's been it's back been quite forth. crazy, really. Yeah. And, you know the war of words between Joshua You're and Fury, it, right? <laughs> and it's 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 crazy. And I, I feel that Fury, um, in defense of Fury, I, I feel like he got really he got overexcited. I, 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 I feel he got overexcited, you true. know, when he made the announcement. And and AJ is quite frustrated because I mean the question would be, what on earth would make you make such an announcement when you know there was an arbitration going, going on? on? I mean, what would you make that and? Clearly, um, Fury wants this fight. Um, Joshua wants this fight. That I mean, Joshua calling Fury a fraud and all of that. Say, let's do this thing this week. Um, Fury re responding, responding. with, let's do it this weekend with Ben, ben Knuckles. Knuckles. Uh, you know, it's it's quite it's quite crazy. Mm -hmm. But the the question would be, Deontay Wilder, is he going to take this step aside? I mean, he asked for twenty million.
billion dollars. That is ridiculous. That's according to Fury. I mean, it mean, must be said. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fury said Fury he wants. Said so. Yeah, said so. Uh, Wild has come. I've come out to say we he don't want no one step aside money. Yeah, we want, we want, and we want to fight. Yeah. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and if, if if I know Deontay Wilder well, I mean, make, we know he talks tough a lot of times. If I know him well, I think he would want to fight. Absolutely. Particularly because of the way the last one ended. I would think that he would want the fight, not the I money, agree. because I, agree. I mean, twenty million dollars is a lot of money. But the way the last come on, one ended, I think well he would. Mm. I think he would want to get an opportunity to avenge the loss, to redeem his image, <laughs> because cool. he was absolutely battered. Exactly, and he would get an opportunity to redeem his image. Mm. I don't. The step aside money is absolute joke, by the way. But it's quite disappointing that February, that August 14th, Saudi Arabia, the Gypsy King and AJ, mm. it's not going to happen. It doesn't look like it's. Going to happen like at least not on the 14th of 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 august oh, but let, let's see what happens because clearly it looks okay. like it's going to be Deontay wilder and and fury mm. uh, and then maybe maybe the hern is talking december mm. and maybe we can hopefully have december aj and 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 fury all right, um, Cecilia, uh, Austin, and uh, Ine as well, too. Uh, if you've been following the war of words uh, between AJ and uh, Tyson, Tyson Fury on social media. Uh, Cecilia, so a few people <laughs> are shocked to see Anthony Joshua in this light. I've never seen him, but at I think all. it shows how frustrated he is. Uh, he's been. Cecilia, look at what AJ has it's to up. say about Tyson Fury. He said, the world now sees you for the fraud you are. You've <laughs> let <laughs> boxing down. down. You lied to the fans and let them on. Use my name for clout, Bounce. not a fight. Bring, Bring me, me any championship fight, any championship fighter who can handle their business correctly. Okay. Of course. Um, he went for that to say, yeah, if there was an arbitration going on, why announce to the world we are fighting? The fight was signed undisputed. Benocle, you're a good kid. Don't play with me. Look, I'll slap your boy head and he did nothing. He did nothing. Never seen AJ in his life before. Not at all. I think it's Tyson Fury actually got him to do do that. I mean, all the things he was saying and all went on and on and on. I mean, let's just leave it because at the end of the day, I think it was all on Tyson Fury. They knew about this arbitration was going on. You remember, Tyo, you kept saying it that this disqualification bout would not happen because of the arbitration that was on. They needed to wait for that to happen and not sign, you know, with Anthony Joshua. Now you signed, sealed, delivered, everything ready. A date was fixed in August, and suddenly we'll hear that, oh, it's not going to happen and everything. But this is it. I mean, it's not going to be all To be honest, I totally agree with I totally agree with AJ. I think that for someone of yeah. um, Tyson Fury's standing and, and stature as a person and yeah. personality, I think that he should be handling his business a lot more yeah. crisply than that. Mm -hmm. I think he should do things better than that because, I mean, you don't make such announcement. I mean, everyone's getting excited. Everyone wants to fight. You don't just wake up and make and an now, announcement because of something. Or, mm -hmm. or you've gotten excited and you, you feel that the fight is going to go on. You've got to be 120% sure. And That's it. He's got to handle his business a lot more. And uh, speaking of fighting bare knuckles, I'd like to see both of them. <laughs> because it looks like there's a lot of pure hate going on between each other now. Because it's Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, that would be very interesting, yeah. uh, bare knuckle. Austin's still with us as well. Austin, uh, let's get your, your, your thoughts on this uh, matter, especially uh, with AJ going all out on social media to absolutely uh, annihilate uh, Tyson Fury. Of course, Tyson Fury is come out to say, uh, he can wait for his turn of smoke while the first, then AJ can get his turn uh, as well. Austin, um, Austin, talk to us. So, Tyo, um, I've, I've been listening to you guys <laughs> since yesterday that that's war of words uh, between AJ and the Gypsy King uh, broke out on Twitter. Uh, I've been saying to myself that there's more to this than meet the eye. Poor business deal from the camp of AJ. I really wish I could sit down with Eddie Hearn, you know, and find <laughs> out why they didn't do proper, you know, investigation. Mm -hmm. Because Tyson Fury, in the he said, you guys knew that there was an arbitration. Remember, exactly. guys, remember that Deontay Wilder and his team, they've been pushing for the trilogy right from when he lost that he lost. rematch. Remember? True. True. And they said clearly that the clause is that they can have that fight for the third time. And they kept on saying, each time we talk about Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, um, 
Wilder's team, they always also come out to say, this guy has got a pending fight. I know it's all about the fans. Mm -hmm. I know it's all about the money. But just make it tidy. Just there's, there's somebody agreed somewhere. Wouldn't like the way the second fight went. Jonte Wilder wants to redeem his image. If you're going to do business, if you're going to put pen to paper, I will be speaking to the other side. Mm. I'll be saying, guys, look, what about we just give the world this big fight? It's about the biggest thing that will happen in British boxing. You mm -hmm. carry the other person along. You're not going to make him feel like because you've knocked him out now, his career is ended. No. That's Deontay Wilder. That's the former WBC heavyweight boxer that mm. went on 44 times unbeaten defending mm. that belt. Mm. Mm. So right. you don't just go around and make him look like, oh, he's not, not sort of a fighter. You just go ahead and, and, and then and fight. And push him aside. And fight and all of that. Yeah. Yeah, and arbitration is an arbitration. And you exactly. guys knew about it. So why were you going out to sign a big fight? Exactly. So I'm going to just run to do what he had to do to mm. keep his credibility, yep. to keep his respect, because this is boxing, this is business, and it's got a lot of reputation tied around it. Okay. So I don't know how they're going to do it. I have this step aside money they're talking about. No, I don't mm. think that should happen. Do you think should have stood that low to take nope. that? He nope. should have that fight. They should sit down now and plan properly. If they want to really give the fans a fight, now that he's hated, there's bad blood. Let them carry that same energy and get into the ring and we'll see good boxing. And give you a bloody fight, right? Uh, okay, we we'll wait for that thing when it's going to happen September or... Yeah, by September, by, that's, by September, that's the deadline should, for, that's the deadline and, for uh, them to agree and see what's going to happen. Right. Let's quickly go to Nigeria National League. Oh, let's touch time there. Mm. Oh, yeah, Super Eagles is playing yeah, Mexico. Yeah, that has been confirmed by Nigeria of Football of Federation. NFL. Confirmation oh, coming from them, which is a good one. That's going to be in July. That's after they would have played uh, Cameroon mm. in June. So it's going to be busy June staying, and July for them. Busy. Despite qualifiers for Afcon being, being postponed and World yeah. Cup put up. All right, uh, NNL quickly. We'll just take a look at uh, midweek games where you have some games that were decided on Wednesday. Yes, Abia comments and Gateway was 1 0. Godoski and Joy comments 1 0. FC1 Rocket and Crown 1 0. Bramo Stars and Apex Screen are two, at least two goals. Producer Ibo muted JTT, another 1 0 victory. And the right. game between uh, Insurance, Ben Insurance and Baeza United it ended. And Ben Insurance and uh, Baeza, yes, it ended. In favor of Bayer United, one nil. That game was they were one nil up yesterday when it was postponed because of heavy downpour. But now they finished the game. It's, it ended one nil. So insurance lost to at Bayer. That's the result from midweek Nigeria National League, the most important one mm, in yeah. the country. I had to put that in, right? All right. <laughs> okay. EPL. Let's go to England. Okay. Uh, it's getting exciting. Oh, yeah, so, exciting. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're gonna I, have an exciting. I wanted an exciting season. one yesterday, but that didn't happen for me. Well, Liverpool and Burnley, it just didn't happen. It was an easy <laughs> win. Liverpool had okay. lost, right? <laughs> that would have been exciting for you. you uh, come on, <laughs> okay. so, confirmation yeah. of the results of the games that were played last night. Before we ask any, the one is gonna pick. Of course, Liverpool and Burnley will definitely Very get us talking. Victory. Everton. Uh, one one uh, against Wolves, one nil, and of course Newcastle. Yeah, mm. uh, Joe Willock. I mean, can't stop how old is that guy again? Uh, he's a young star. Isn't Nineteen or thereabouts. Joe Willock. No, so yeah, I think it's only yeah. twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Oh, uh, boy, you start. Boy, he's a youngster. I mean, yeah. six games, six goals now. Back to back, back to back, back to back. And of course, Aston Villa and uh. Tottenham. Yes, that was a dramatic one. Aston Villa just had to hold on to win. Uh, the own goal, I'm still trying to think about that own goal, what really happened. When you've not scored for a team, you know, and uh, your back or rather your face is facing the goalpost, you don't even care if it's for you or against you. I guess that would put it in. Come on, this thing's happened. It happens to the best players. And I'll never watch an But that goal was fantastic. That's not supposed to be an own goal. I, I mean, I mean it, 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 was quite, it was quite astonishing. And... And very Regulon. sad, for, very Come sad on. for Regulon because yeah. I think he's a very good lad, a very exciting left back, and it's it's just I mean it's not raining for Tottenham, it's pouring, mm. and it I mean it, it comes at a very bad time, bad result, hurricane wants out, mm. and. It's it's just sad. Fired a manager a few weeks ago. Oh, well, what is the point? I mean, it's just. <laughs> and I, 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 I said it. I, I don't feel that 
the the decision to to fire Moreno was the right one. The timing was absolutely oh, diabolical. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? I agree. Six days to the final of, of, of a cup game, a, a cup final, yeah. and he fired manager. The the Tottenham issue, uh, people need to understand. People say, oh, Jose Moreno didn't do a good job. I don't think that Tottenham squad is good enough to finish in the top six. Mm. That's my worry. That's I, I, I look at that Tottenham side and defensively. They've considered lots of goals. I mean, people talk about poor how poor goals. people talk about how poor Arsenal have been this season. Arsenal have considered 38. That Tottenham squad have, have considered at least close to 50. <laughs> now, if Arsenal are poor and considering 38, and you're considering close to 50 goals in a season, that's not good enough. They're going to Money. be languishing where you're languishing at the moment, and mm. Tottenham need to do a lot in the summer. Yeah, Austin, um, uh, Monday, sorry, let's just uh, leave uh, Tottenham. They, they've laid their bed and they're going to have to you know, <laughs> lie in it. Uh, Daniel Nett Levy and, and, and the Tottenham hierarchy. We're seeing pictures uh, from Liverpool. Uh, okay, this is uh, Arsenal awesome. and mm -hmm. Crystal Palace. Uh, three. 3-1 victory, late goal. Yeah, that's uh, now late, late goals, actually. Yeah, late goals, yeah. The two uh, goals, Martinelli Pepe. Mm -hmm. and Pepe mm -hmm. uh, getting all three points. After Crystal uh, Palace went off, uh, the, more like... Uh, but I, I, think, I think the night was about Roy Hodgson. This man, yeah. It, 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 was, it was about Roy Hodgson, 45 years in, in coaching. Mm. He said he's not done with the game. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what he's talking about, but I think he should take... A back seat. He's done such a sterling job as a manager for 45 years. Wow. I mean, he's coached abroad, he's coached in yeah. England, he's coached at the Inter Milan, he's coached teams, outside yeah. of England. Great job he's done for Crystal Palace. And clearly, Crystal Palace want to go in a different direction. Mm -hmm. They want a younger manager, they want um, a different philosophy. Did they try this before? Yeah. Like Frank De Boer? Was yeah, they did. They did, they did. How many, how many games did they last? Four, I mean, four like matches. Eight games or something? Four. four. Okay, matches. four matches. It lasted yeah. four matches. Four and games. Go. Steve Parrish, I mean, Steve Parrish, I, I don't particularly think Steve Parrish is old school, but I think that what happened with Frank the Boer was a, an absolute disaster. Yeah. And for Crystal Palace, you want a new manager to come in. Maybe not necessarily, I mean, there's been talk of Frank Lampard coming in. Yeah. And I'm wondering, will Steve Parrish give him time if he comes in and he doesn't, doesn't particularly hit well. the ground running? Mm -hmm. and, and there are lots of players in that. Crystal Palace side were out of contract. A lot of those players are out of uh, over 30, mm -hmm. 30 and above. And so they need to build. It's, it's a lot of rebuilding, a lot of transition mm -hmm. where the new manager comes in. He's got a tough job on his hands. Okay. So I don't know what they're going to do and where they're going from here. We'll see. Uh, Fingers crossed. Uh, but we need to go on a break now. When we come back, Austin is still with us. Austin will be giving us his own thoughts on Liverpool, their search to qualify for the FA Champions League. Uh, next is in the safe to say they're in the driving seat. Join us again. All right, welcome back from that break. Yes, Austin, quickly, we just asked you about Liverpool and Burnley. We expected a very competitive game uh, last night. Yes, it was. Remember, Burnley were actually the team that broke that Liverpool home record where they haven't lost in like donkey years mm. and donkey seasons at the end of the day they broke that but they couldn't do the double over liverpool liverpool needed they knew what they needed to do just win your two games and get into top four and now they are in the top four leicester for the second season in a row might just be playing europa league next season shame shame you know uh -huh. like after last night's results i i was like i just need to assemble leicester west ham <laughs> Tottenham and flog their entire squad, you know, for because Liverpool, Liverpool showed all the all the signs that they didn't want this top four finish, yeah. you know. And when those guys started messing up, they need to win a game um this week, they won't win it, then they're going to win this the next game, just giving us uh a, a, a top seat of this season, you know. But it was a top four drama for me. Yes, now Liverpool they look good uh to, to finish in that top four. Uh, let's start with the sort of season that they've, they've had, winning the FA Cup, you know, winning vital games. You should be playing in the top four. You should consolidate on what you did last season. So, mm. it's just a shame, uh, but uh, it is Liverpool. It is Jurgen Klopp. comes as big relief for them, you know, after beating, you know, Burnley. And um, so, yeah, as it is, I, I don't see any stopping. Of, of I, was, I was listening to the guys uh, on Talk Sports and, 
the saying it would have been good if West Ham had finished in the top four, you know, because they actually did play good football game. this season. But hey, mm. uh, they didn't take those chances when they needed to take it, you know. Mm. Tottenham, for instance, they started so well. A lot of distractions came in. I know Jose was saying things behind that. We don't get to hear that the, the club management didn't like, but uh, after when they let Jose go, you know, they lost it. And look yeah. at how the season has turned out for them, you know, and all of that. So, it's really crazy season guys actually if you look at it in every way um they got darren bent on talk sport was saying uh look um they want to thank roy Hodgson for bringing crystal palace to the same level as us now uh, like, oh, um, <laughs> nice shots <laughs> <That's ludicrous. laughs> austin austin thank you thank you for joining us yeah uh, austin. appreciate your time uh, we'll do this again on friday right on Thursday. Okay. Friday. <laughs> oh, with your delight, guys. Oh, with your delight. So, to you guys. Sure. All right. All right. All right. Thank you very much. And then the EPL much. should be over. All right. Okay. Um, we're still talking on the, uh, the EPL. Let's just uh, uh, sit to wait and let's see what the table uh, looks like going into the final day. The race for Europe will go down to the final day. Like I said, of course, we've taken out the champions and uh, the other Manchester mm -hmm. side. Uh, the Manchester they, clubs. Yeah, but I'm trying to separate them because they're different levels right now. <laughs> yeah. City are miles ahead of United. It doesn't matter. The Manchester clubs are at one and Anyways, two. Whatever you're Liverpool, going to say. <laughs> uh, Chelsea, uh, Liverpool, Leicester, West Ham, Tottenham, Everton, Arsenal. Surprisingly, still have a chance uh, of going uh, so, into so Europe. That's, that's the European... Champion. Yeah, what so was it called again? Conference League. Conference League. That's yeah. where Arsenal will go to. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to differentiate between Europe. Yeah, Europe is Europe. Whether it's <laughs> conference, there, whether no, it's no, Europe, no, no, no. There's the Conference League for people like in Arsenal. Where? There's the Conference League. <laughs> Come on, sister. Why do you have Shots to do that fire. to Arsenal fans? I don't know why she no, does we have three. We have three Europe, right? We have the first tier, the second and the third. So Simple. Arsenal is going into the third tier Simple. of Europe. Yeah, yeah, they're not going to, <laughs> they're going to Africa. They're going to Africa. Anyways, let's. Um, in it, this is the last time we're going to have you before the, the final uh, round <laughs> of games. Uh, how do you see this panning out? Uh, uh, Chelsea at Villa, Liverpool at home to Palace uh, in the final games. Of course, Leicester still have a chance as well. They play Spurs at the King Power. I'm looking forward to drama. I'm, as a neutral, I'm, I'm hoping that. <laughs> Um, with some sporting drama he served us again because uh, if Chelsea don't win at um, Aston Villa, Leicester still have mm, a chance. If mm. they beat Tottenham, will Leicester beat Tottenham? That's mm. a question because Tottenham, the, Tottenham themselves are in danger of missing out on, on the Europa League if they don't win. And That's Leicester, if you, because you're thinking Liverpool will lose. And no, That's I'm, I'm thinking Liverpool will we'll lose. Liverpool. No, no, Liverpool need to lose because if you check the goal difference, check where Liverpool is fourth, Leicester fifth. And Liverpool is up. Plus four good defense. Yeah, exactly. Liverpool have got their destiny in their hands. Yeah. They just need to win. Okay. They need to win. If Liverpool wins a goal to nil, have a goal to nil, they, they're fine. But the question is, Leicester, he's, Chelsea he's, needs to beat Aston Villa. So, so if, if Chelsea lose, if Chelsea they'll be stuck, draws. Or they'll be stuck on 67 points. Mm -hmm. And Leicester, if they beat Spurs, they have 66 now, they'll go to 69. 69. Chelsea, that's, that's Chelsea. That's what you're Chelsea. saying. Yeah. So, okay. so Chelsea needs Not to win. Liverpool. So they all need to win. Mm. That, okay. th that's it. The excitement they all need to win so I'm just, I'm just thinking I mean I'm just trying to 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 play some um, pick a scene in my head I'm thinking first 45 minutes Aston Villa go to the good Crystal Palace I go to the good and Tottenham I go to the good I, I'm looking forward to that I mean that's what I want to see as a neutral I really want to see that it will be a lot of drama but I'm fancying that Chelsea should be able to Chelsea do a job Villa, at Aston Villa okay. and Liverpool should be able we'll to beat Bit, bit, um, Crystal so, Palace. So that's it. That's it. Yeah, Chelsea, yeah, Chelsea uh, Crystal Palace. Chelsea, Liverpool, Liverpool for me. All right. Okay, Chelsea, that's Liverpool, it. top four. So as you are. Oh, dear Leicester, not as again. You are. Not again. So, so yeah, let's uh, wrap up the show now uh, before we look at the papers. Okay, so, the fans. Uh, okay. Okay, Juve. Okay, Juve. Juve fans. Yeah, they, yeah. Didn't, they didn't have a choice. I mean, you, you, you can't lose out of top. Okay, they haven't lost yet. Haven't but lost I think it's it, yeah. looking like it. Mm. And also lo lost out in uh, the Coppa Italia. So they needed to beat Atalanta 2-1. So they, they did. Okay. And the fans, it of course, jubilation. 
it means nothing. Absolutely well, look nothing. at the fans. I mean, it means a lot to them. Celebrate. They're celebrating. Fa fans will celebrate a trophy. United mm -hmm. fans will. It's, it's just like Leicester. Do you think Leicester fans will take a trophy over, over Champions League? Yeah, no, some that will. No, no, I think I they, no, think I think they, they, they will because I mean, they haven't won that in their history. Yeah, it's I the agree. very first time. So you I think fans want to play in the biggest cup. Fans want their clubs to play in the biggest competitions. And. I think Juventus have had a disastrous season. Of course. They, they won the cup, obviously, but I mean, they made a mess of the title defense. They're out of the top four, and if they don't finish in the top four, it would have been such a horrible season. I agree with what you're saying now, Monday. You're spot on. Uh, winning this Coppa Italia doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't take, mean anything. It doesn't serious. mean anything. Uh, you know, in the grand <laughs> I mean, scheme of things, uh, they, they, have, they are the terrible, terrible season. Mm. It's as simple as that. Uh, okay. Before we look at the papers, some Just tweets. Just take some tweets. Yeah, I mean, Noble Flyer Man is uh, firing Austin this morning. He says, Austin, you're wrong. They talked about the trilogy and uh, the fury and why the yeah, trilogy was, was meant. He said it was meant to happen within six months. Of course, we all know that course, after COVID the second fight, really COVID happened, happened uh, for almost a year, which made the clause expire. Uh, hence, Eddie N was right to actually sign, uh, was was right, same as Bob Aaron, to sign the AG and Fury unification so bout. So, Noble Flyer Man okay. knows more than the arbitrator. So, yeah, exactly. So that's on. what he's trying to say. Come on, so we know man. that whenever COVID, COVID happens, so it doesn't mean the contract will expire. It simply means that the clause is still there in the sense that COVID happened, everything was put on hold. Exactly. Okay. Uh, Osega, he says, uh, Liverpool did a very good job by winning their match yesterday and I don't see them losing their last mm -hmm. match because that will confirm their Champions League spot. For Leicester City, I'm so disappointed for the second time mm -hmm. they throw away, of course, the chances of qualifying for UCL. They threw that away when they lost to Newcastle. On a Friday night, HKZ says uh, champions will always be champions. Liverpool have the champions, champions mentality, please. and this is shown at the later stages of the Premier League. I wish Leicester <laughs> could have made it, but they need more time to get together. Uh, um, HK, uh, Liverpool, we've just seen Liverpool are okay. uh, one of the worst uh, defending champions in Premier League history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know the champions uh, mentality that he's talking about. Uh, Pat Anyways. says, uh, AJ Donvers, <laughs> first time I've seen him write with such range, there must be something going on behind the scene. Yeah, I blame both champs for not managing the situation well. Mm -hmm. Arbitration is not a hidden process and should have been conceded mm -hmm. during our fight planning. Uh, quickly, we'll just take a look at the paper's Sporting Sun. Raw admits selection headache. Of course, he's going to have that with all the strikers scoring across mm. Europe. It's a big one for him. A Cap good sheet, one. Uh, yeah. It's a good one, right? Yeah, good yeah, headache. It is a good one. <laughs> uh, okay. Complex Sports is the next one, which is the biggest one. Uh, it's a good thing for NHL. Uh, Agali Hill, senior man after historic goal versus Chelsea. Okay. Mm. Iberia is out until 2022. Yeah, Achilles. Mm, that was a stupid terrible injury. injury. Yeah, ter yeah. Ter ter terrible news. Uh, mm. We expect he's expected to be out for t at least till next year. And my Oops. problem with injuries like this is that he affects the player mentally. Yeah. I mean, how he recovers would be very important. And he's well, still a young lad and yeah. he's got a lot of years ahead of him but we wish him speedy recovery speedy and full recovery yeah, good thing is uh, place of palace uh, they've got fantastic uh, uh, support team, uh, yeah. medical mm -hmm. uh, you know wiser so uh, his recovery should go according uh, to plan last paper for review sports in our uh, life there's a mexico nigeria friendly which was which has been confirmed uh, as well there's also uh, mbappe firing psg to cup uh, glory, Law Alpha, we got your message as well to your saying Salah is a spend force. That was a very interesting take. Uh, thank you uh, for coming on the show uh, in your bonga on Monday. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you too for having me. All right, thank you for watching as well. Enjoy the rest of your day. I am Tayo Salam. I'm Cecilia Mogwe. See you tomorrow.